Street lights can be helpful for public safety in many U.S. cities, and with cameras attached, they can monitor traffic, even be effective enough to reduce accidents, say experts. About 500 communities are using red light cameras. That's up from just 25 a decade ago. This wider use of the cameras allowed us for the first time to study how they're working in many diverse cities. But in the future, lights and cameras may be mostly used to monitor people. These cameras on streetlights called IntelliStreets may be put into mass production for law enforcement. The streetlights with a brain look like this. They're capable of making public service announcements and sounding alarms. They're connected through a wireless network, much like computers in an office. The Intelli streets are being introduced in cities such as Detroit, Chicago, and Pittsburgh, with the Department of Energy right here in Washington, D.C., endorsing their use. But these fancy street lights aren't only capable of providing necessary illumination to shady street corners. They can also record conversations. And this is where civil liberties experts have a problem with them. The lights possess microphones so sensitive that they could pick up conversations several feet away. What one person thought was private becomes public record. Which means they can kind of flip a switch and anybody who's talking in the vicinity that can go into a record and be saved and be stored. And this kind of contravenes. Traditionally, we only have police being able to get access to conversations when there's either consent or when there's a warrant. According to the Intelligent Lights designer, the fixtures can also make headcounts of people at protests and track movements through the use of a monitoring system at police headquarters. With the click of a button, they could take a person's picture from a bird's eye view. They're an idea that need definitely regulation and oversight and for people to understand what they can do and what protections are in place to make sure that they're not abused. And I think that's always the concern when new technology is rolled out. The lights don't come cheap. Each one starts at $3,000. But the invention's detractors say you can't put a price on privacy. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.